Africa Adventure, Part 5. Episode, Hunting for Buffalo and Sable Antelope. The hunt is on. Today's hunt marks the end of our adventure in Tanzania. Many memorable and exciting days of hunting are already behind us. For the moment, we are once again tracking buffaloes, but our presence has not gone unnoticed. A young lion is watching us attentively. We feel relieved when the lion stops paying attention to us. He has probably had his fill and just wants to digest in peace. When we reach a more open area, we catch sight of a small herd of elephants. This certainly makes our stalking much more interesting. After about another hour of stalking, we approach the buffalo for the first time. Will there be a suitable bull? Only a few more steps and we will know more. We have been able to approach the buffalo well enough and come to the conclusion that it is simply not worth following these dagger boys any further. They are just too young. However, we are in a promising area for some other game species and so decide to continue stalking. We are finally rewarded when we come across bush pigs in the undergrowth. It comes as no surprise that we have to move quickly once again. With a clean shot, our hunter is able to bring down a bush pig. Good hunting. Before the hunt continues, however, the game is kept cool under leaves, ready for transport. We suddenly stop. We have spotted a buffalo just a few meters further ahead and we have a clear view. The buffalo already has us in its sights. He just has to hang around for a little while longer. It checks out. As soon as our hunter gets a small shooting window, it's go time to fire. As is so often the case, our hunter showed his class here in beautiful Tanzania. Yet again, he had to shoot quickly with no clear view of the game. The lush vegetation made things hugely difficult. But our hunter was not intimidated. After a short time, we find blood. We also pass a perfectly camouflaged tree snake. This one belongs to the mantis family of snakes. This means its bite can be fatal for an adult without medical treatment. As we finally come face to face with our buffalo, our hunter's heart beats faster. An ancient buffalo lies before us, probably around 15 years old. This deserves a hearty good hunting. Since we're so close to camp and we also have to deliver the bush pig to the kitchen, we make a quick stop to change our clothes before we go on. Then, 
we continue with the hunt. Since we haven't eaten anything yet, we decide to have a barbecue in the middle of the jungle. Blake prepares an excellent meal for us, as if it could be any other way. What's that, Blake? Um, I think we're having buffalo schnitzel. Oh, very good. Yeah, buffalo schnitzel. Oh, we have schnitzel in Tanzania. Yeah. Perfect. It's a very nice spot here. Buffalo schnitzel is on yes. the menu today. Yes. After a short rest in the hammock, the hunt can resume. We spot a promising sable antelope in the bush. As we have yet to have any success in hunting this impressive animal, we do our best to pursue it. After another two hours of stalking, we actually manage to get close to a strong male. This time, we hope for a clear shot. Once again, the game is almost completely hidden from us. But our hunter finds the all-important gap and is able to take a strong sable antelope with the last shot. Good hunting. Beautiful old bull, Bonner. That's what you're looking for. Something really old like that. Beautiful. It is with a sense of sadness that we say goodbye to Africa after such an impressive hunt. Thanks to the work of Michel, Joseph, Blake and his team, we can reflect on some very successful days in Tanzania. As we do so, we can't help but relive those moments in our minds.